It is nice to find your tribe. Or actually, what happens is, your tribe finds you, and you are so happy. Lucille Clifton Hello and welcome to Self Talk. I'm Rachel Astarte. This entire podcast is dedicated to self work, being on the path, as I've called it. The path of psycho spiritual development, being awake, being aware, emboldening ourselves to shine light on our shadows and bring love to our childhood wounds. But this isn't an act of isolation, it's the opposite. None of this work is worth anything if we don't return with the gifts of being in alignment, being our highest selves, to our community. How you show up in the world has everything to do with how much in alignment you are internally. Are you dealing with your stuff? Or are you projecting it out all over the place and blaming others for your pain? Are you doing the work? So there's general compassion for our human and animal and plant families. But there are also those people in our closer circles whom we call our family. They may be literal blood relatives. They may be our found family. These are the people we've spent much of our time in relation with over the years. Part of self-work is that you may begin to notice that some of the people currently in your circle are not connecting with you as they once did. You may have more arguments or even stop seeing the world the way that they do, or perhaps you once did. This is one of the most painful parts of inner work. But what happens on the inside will eventually be reflected outwardly. That's the goal, in fact. But the result is that you may have to give up people who were once close to you. You may be frustrated that these relationships must evolve into something else, lover to friend, friend to acquaintance, or even end outright. You may still be locked in a struggle with them because you're not ready yet to release them. Perhaps there's a chance they're going to wake up. They're going to do their thing like I did. They're going to do their self-work. It's likely, but if you're not currently being supported by those around you, you will have to shift or even end that relationship. That's just the truth. And you're going to need to mourn that passing. Remember that these now misaligned relationships were forged before you were on the path before you woke up to the choice to live in communion with your deepest self. Now these people who were once familiar are not able to see you for who you are. This can be terribly lonely and sad. We may be very connected to some of these people in our lives. It hurts deeply that they can't see us. That's why your own personal mourning process is necessary. But what can make that morning easier is realizing that we are all here to learn whatever lessons we're here to learn. You have to let those people move along their own path, whatever that path may be. Your ability to do this is part of the compassion work, so you can release them with love. So it's just like the old stories of travelers on the road, or in this case it would be a literal road, right? meeting other travelers and merchants, seeking whatever it is one's looking for. It might be a stone, or a sword, or an herb, or a guru. The hero or the heroine stops along the road, along the way, and asks these merchants and travelers if they have what they're seeking. And if the merchant or fellow traveler says no, well, then they just wish them well along their path. They don't question why that merchant didn't have or didn't connect them with what they were seeking, they just let them go along their way. Maybe what they're seeking is actually a mile ahead. Who's to say? Got to keep looking, got to keep moving. The journey may be very frustrating at times, but the longer you're on it, the more people you meet, and the more relationships you forge based on where you are now. Those people become your tribe. This life is our journey, our path, 
to travel along, our road to travel along, all of us. Not everyone we encounter is going to have what we need, figuratively speaking. Some may even try to harm us emotionally. None of that matters. Let it go with love. Do whatever grieving you need to do as you let go of the old self and its companions. Continue your work being your highest self. Like a magnet, you will naturally attract those whose visions align with yours. You'll speak with a shorthand about the universe and love and what it means to be a human being in this really strange place. Do your unique dance on the earth. Your tribe will find you. And you can finally put your bags down for a while and rest in the comfort of true connection. Until next time, many blessings on your path. Thank you for joining me on Self Talk. Aho. Thank you.